Right, let's uh, talk about that match last night. And it was terrific sitting back watching this one. Uh, it was. It was, I mean, just the way that they fought. And Tom Stewart will we'll get to in a second. This is some of his highlights. Just what a smart player he is. Now, we all look at the forwards who kick goals and we celebrate that. I reckon he saved six or seven last night. And the Bulldogs really didn't have any answers for him. Ten touches in the last quarter and that goal. He came to play along with Jeremy Cameron. They really stood up for Geelong, but what a performance it was. No, Duncan, Guthrie, Radigalia, Danger, Holmes, Stanley, and the, the amount of outs they had was a significant performance that keeps them in touch with the eight at six and six. Lordo, what did you notice? What I noticed is, Kane, you just touched on the midfielders that are out, but the barometers were back for the Geelong Football Club, and that is Brian Myers, Brad Close, Tyson Stengel, and Gary Rowan. When they are up and about, great things happen for Geelong. So I want to highlight some big moments right here and now. That is huge from Gary Rowan. Look where Bradley Close is right there. How high he is up, looking to defend the ground. So the ball goes inside 50. When they get on the hunt like this, says Stengel front and square. Cameron's competing. Look where Brad Close is. He was in the centre of the ground, and yet he lays this tackle on Garda. That is a massive, massive work rate. So here it is. Henry, he gets involved. Brad Close is in there again, over the top to Grian Meyer. So when they are on the hunt, fantastic things happen for Geelong. And I want to highlight this last one as well, which is sensational. This is the half-back flank. There's Brad Close, there's Gary Rowan, and there's Myers tackling. The hunt is on. They're out. Brad Close is involved over the top to Gary Rowan, who goes on and kicks a goal. And that is, in my opinion, how they broke down the Western Bulldogs with amazing pressure. And when they're in that mood, they're hard to stop the Cats. Yeah, really good vision, Lordo. Let's talk about Rory Lobkane and ask you a few questions. I thought the Dogs the last two weeks, more inside 50s, more disposals, possibly should have won last night for the first three quarters they played. He started the wing. He's kicked 12 goals in his 12 games. Now, they didn't get Rory Lob to play on the wing, so I'm not sure where it's at at the moment. Like, 12 goals in 12 games is OK, but you would have expected more. Norton's been OK with 21 goals. I think Jamara is their most damaging forward at the yeah. moment. But more inside 50s the last two weeks, they should be third. They they should have won both those games and their forward line isn't functioning for the midfield dominance they're having. They had no influence their forwards last night. Norton was soundly beaten by De Koning. Great to see him going back. But you're right. I mean, he kicked 38 goals last year, Rory Lobb. And a big contract that he came in on. And Lordo, you just wonder about Luke Beveridge's tactics at times and his want to change things up and throw things around so drastically. Yeah, it frustrates me so often. You know, it's some unpredictable decisions. So it's a great story, O'Donnell. But they say, oh, OK, we, to, we move Lobb to a wing, so that brings O'Donnell into the forward line. But I just don't think any position is right there in regards to that. So you O'Donnell know, doesn't look ready at this stage, but he's been persevered with. And then Lobb isn't a wingman. So, again, I think they, they find form, the Western Bulldogs, but then some strategic moves are made. It might be what makes him a good coach at times, but I think it also is what is a weakness. Well, the wings are so important. Yeah. You look at the two best sides, Collingwood and possibly Melbourne at the moment and Port Adelaide, but Collingwood have got Takos and mm. Sidebottom who play that wing role. Melbourne have got Langdon and Hunter yeah. doing a great job. So the wing role is so important. To put Rory Lobb, I felt they missed out on something last night. So I know it's very early to be previewing next week's matches, but Port Adelaide and the Western Bulldogs at Marvel next Friday night there would have to be a mammoth turnaround on the part of the Western Bulldogs to overcome a powerhouse like power. Well, they, they just looked the better team for the first half last night against Geelong and they dominated all the stats. Now, these two teams played against each other earlier on in the year and it was even at three-quarter time in the wet and Port Adelaide overran them, so they're playing against each other in a short period of time. But you think at Marvel, the dogs would be confident, but Port Adelaide's record Just is pretty one good. one quick thing. Their goal-kicking, TJ, is horrendous. Oh. So it cost them last... They should have buried the Suns in the first quarter, yeah. and last night it was terrible again. So we all... At close for, range. It is, yeah, and it's happening time and time again. So Norton's one of the, the worst culprits of it, uh, and that's costing them games of footy.